to you all. <laughs> Today we are tearing out this, all of this. Is that true? What are we doing? Well, all of it. On our last big trip, we dreamed this up. We were like using the RV, obviously, and just imagining what if the bedroom could be more than a bedroom? And during the day, it could evolve into more of like a living space. And that way, Casey can work and we can do art projects and there's just like two spaces and we don't have to be on top of each other quite as much. And it's like, hello, we have all this space back here and it just serves this one purpose of being a bed. Um, and it can be so much more. Oh, and by the way, it is currently Sunday and we're leaving on Thursday. We have ordered a new like mattress situation and it was supposed to arrive Tuesday, but I think it's out for delivery now. So hey, maybe we're gonna be like in really good shape with this. Yeah, so we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have four days to gut the bed and have a new bed. <laughs> Ugh. Why do we do this to ourselves? Okay. Yeah, that's all. This mattress. Oh, FedEx is here. You think that's the mattress? Dad, where's the passenger seat? Sometimes two people ride in the FedEx truck. to the house all by myself, can I? These weren't even supposed to be here until the day before we left. So I'm very excited they came early. It takes a little bit of the drama out of it. I mean, we still have a bedroom to build, but you know, part of it was just gonna be like, I hope they arrive before <laughs> we leave. Hope we don't have to sleep on the cheap egg crate foam. One. It looks better in person. We didn't love the blue. We just didn't have many options, you know? <laughs> there were some slightly we better- We shipping constraints. Yeah, if we could have waited forever. I saw some great ones that are like, arrives in December. <laughs> Hear it? Mm -hmm. Your foam mattress has been folded and compressed for shipping. After unrolling, allow up to 48 hours to return to its size. There it is, man. What do you think? I don't really notice the seams. If you put the pillows right here, that's the way to do it. Your lower back supported. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in couch mode. Yep, 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 yep. It's gonna be much harder to do in the RV, like in the confined space. No, it's good we got separate ones. I think it'll be easier. I mean, it's better than inventing our own solution, right? Like yes, cutting up a mattress. This is what we were going to make. I didn't have to upholster. Yes. Hey, did you get any before photo? This is a pretty thin mattress by itself. I'm just realizing. <laughs> With the mattress on, it's not so intimidating, right? I know. It's definitely too wide to fit. There was still a part of me that was like, well, maybe we can keep a closet. And we'll get it, we'll, once I get everything pulled out, we'll measure. Because that's going to be a pain in the butt to cut out. And I have to cut this out no matter what, it's too wide. But what if we were to leave this closet in that little nightstand? Mm-hmm. Right? And set the bed up right here. It would probably pull out almost to the wall. But who cares, right? I don't know. Okay, we'll measure, we'll lay it out, we'll see. I'm gonna save that piano hinge, potentially do a hinge box down here if we need it. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be like a leisure travel van. You can get Dean to come sit back here. You all right, dude? Did you crash? Bye. Hi. Why did it start going? I don't know. It took off. Did you touch it? I think it's the gas strut pushed up. Oh. 
cool thing to have, even if we don't use it back on yeah, this project. That goes in the parts bin. Grab part situation. Just done a folding queen size couch and bed and just had and be, it. We'd be like done right now, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But that's not how we roll. We get a king size out. We're doing this to get a king the size. maximum potential out of this room. Without this mirror. You we'll put your mirror. Put your mirror right here. You'll have room to stand up in here if you get dressed after we take the bed down. Look at all this room. This is fing awesome. I'll probably just paint it. Can hang this here yeah, for me if I take the hardware off. Yeah, if you take the hardware off, it's safety mirror. That's perfect, actually. I'll do it. This is life changing. This doesn't come to Georgia with us. Mm -mm. This can go in the Not house. this summer. That's going inside. See, we're cutting weight. This is great. It's a wide drawer. It is. It's wider than the doorways in here, apparently. I don't know, we didn't just think of putting a cushion in there and I could have sat in there and had a little private phone booth office. <laughs> it is kind of peaceful. I was thinking to myself, there's this special skill that we've acquired and it's not natural and you just learn to do it, which is where you take a perfectly good closet and you just cut a hole in it. It's the point of no return, you know? We did it from our first house. We just ripped the we just ripped the carpet out one day with no plan of what to do next. I just did that at our house in our Paige closet. Is, Paige still does it every day. Every piece of flooring I've ever installed was because Paige ripped the floor. You flipped them you ripped the floors out in here before I was ready for it. Yeah? That's what she does. She's an instigator. I'm so glad that you pointed that out. That's the kind of thing that I would do is I would just fucking do it and jank it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to splice those and put longer wires. If you want to reconsider this lighting, now's the time. We're gonna have a whole new system. Yeah, I don't like this. We could mount them to the wall. We could, you know. Or think about lighting. Oh yeah, just think take about them lighting. Out. Just yeah. Take them out. Just remove them. Totally. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay, it's the next day. And uh, I've got the power shut off to the RV. That's gonna let me remove these lights and pull this wiring out of this wall so we can take this closet out. Now that I've got the plans all drafted up and I know exactly where the bed slash couch is gonna go, I can pull all this out to get this all finished out into one, one plane and then I can build the bed on top of it. in the hallway with yeah, the... Yeah, you're gonna have to grab it by the handle and come back, and I gotta check clearances on... Oh, Lord, that would be a terrible discovery, wouldn't it? Oh, what if it doesn't go up under the thing? Oh, we're clear. Yeah, it needs 35 inches radius. It'll be fine. 
<laughs> so it's not as big as it looks. No, It'll come it. like this, and then you'll bring it down. The problem is that like, you'll have to put everything away. Yeah. And then you'll have those couch cushions, and I think the only thing you'll be able to do is kind of put them over the back, and then pull it and let them fall behind it. Mm -hmm. It may be the biggest pain in the ass we've ever experienced. more than a dollar a pound. Ask me how I know. So I didn't realize there was a very not square front to this. But the rest of it's squared up and we're gonna go with it. Heck yeah. All right, I got the new Top of the box in. So previously this was three different panels from the factory at all the different heights. So now it's all, you know, not perfectly flush, but it's pretty close to flush. The top half of the bed platform is gonna go over this entire hole right here, this whole gap. So it's time to start building a bed. Got my cut list here, uh, which is pretty much just the dimensions I pulled from my SketchUp mock-ups, except I measured after I got the new platform installed in the RV to get actual dimensions, and I made two quarter-inch adjustments. That's just gonna help everything fit perfectly flush. You know, RV perfectly. Can you tell? That was the last cut. I'm excited, I think I wanna dry fit it. I'm still thinking about doing cutouts for weight savings, but I'm gonna put it all together. Oh, this is 
awesome. I'm going to bed. It's 12.30. All right, everybody, it is Tuesday, Tuesday night, in fact, and we are leaving on Thursday. It does not leave us with much time. Things are a little bit crazy right now because not only do I have this project to finish, I'm trying to pack up everything we're gonna need for a month on the road, plus I'm trying to wrap up work stuff. We are just cramming stuff, time in anywhere we can find it. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed these uh, giant pallets out in the driveway, some of which you can't even see. Well, that's our new roof that's being installed tomorrow or after we leave, I don't know. Uh, we're managing a lot of crap right now. One thing that's on my list that I'm not sure how far I'm gonna get, I'm just kinda winging it, is maybe some weight reduction. This thing is pretty damn heavy. It's almost three full sheets of plywood. Not quite, but almost three full sheets of plywood. That's like 180 pounds. Less than ideal to have that all the way at the back of the RV. I'm thinking about cutting some negative spaces out of this. Plus I think it'll look pretty cool. So, here we go. I've been staring at this thing for a while. I think it looks super cool with the cutouts. Like I'm really happy with that that turned out, especially just like kind of freehanding it and making up the dimensions as I went. And it definitely reduced some weight. Like you can feel it on the back of it. And that's kind of what I wanted to go for. I wanted to do the same thing with the arms. There's just no time for that. Because we've got to get this installed tonight to make sure everything fits so that I've got time to do finish work and trim. And like, I've still got to close in the closet that's just like cut the bottom off of and put a door on it, so. And I've got a desk to build. I gotta get moving. I'm salvaging this piano hinge from the old bed. We are new hinging mechanism. Come see it. All of this space. <laughs> it's so much floor space. This is a funny thing. Yeah, I knew it would be. But whatever. That's Henry's spot in the middle. Yeah. Puts his feet over it. That's our water pump. Ain't shit we can do about that for no, now. No, not really. This is amazing. <sighs> right? Life changing. I can't believe we forgot we had to paint though. Can we just paint on the road? I thought about that. Paint on the road, trim on the road. Maybe we just throw a rug over this situation. What? Yeah, I need to, I need to screw this down. Do you have the stuff to do that? I gotta go get it all. <coughs> I have sawdust and sinus infection. This sucks. for the first flip. <laughs> it's a freaking king size bed. Oh, 
I was sitting in my bed. Holy shit. <laughs> it's gigantic. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's Look, fucking it's giant. Around it. Yeah. Well, there'll be a thing here, sort of. Sort of. Huh? Yeah. What do you think? Well, I'm putting a footrest here. Building this makes all sense. the way Building out. that all the way across. Look at all this space. Are you going to put the desk in tonight? Good time. Oh, this is a great mattress. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. We did it. Now all we have to do is everything we haven't done yet. All right, guys, it's Wednesday. We leave tomorrow. The bed's all installed. I'm gonna get in there and install my desk. I was gonna do that last night, but it turned out I didn't have the right size screws. I'm gonna get that done now, and then I gotta finish trimming everything up, because like, we gotta start packing. It's time to go. I think we're gonna make it, though. station is so conducive to work that I sat down to test it out and then I started working so I have to stop now Closet needs a door. We're we're almost done here. This is gonna be the most half-assed trim work I've ever done and finished work. But we gotta get on the road tomorrow, so we'll come home and it'll drive me nuts, and I'll paint it and take it apart and make it better, maybe. Pretty silly. I like it actually. <sighs> I think it looks intentional. 
Okay. But. What's up, YouTube? Paige pulled the carpet out of our closet a couple weeks ago. She wants new floors, clearly. And uh, we had a big chunk of it laying around and I decided to salvage a piece to cover up this spot on the floor. It's almost midnight and we leave in the morning. So do what you gotta do to get it done. And I have like six staples with my staple gun. How far will we make it? Oh yeah. That didn't even come close to putting a staple through this burly carpet. Hell no, not happening. I told Paige I was gonna screw it in. She said, you can't do that, watch me. How's this for a finish? I'm gonna forever be the guy on YouTube that screwed carpet down. This will be my legacy. I'm calling it done. This project's done. You know? For a bunch of half-assed fast work, it ain't bad. It's not my best work, but we did it in four days. And now we're gonna have a really awesome trip with this really cool space to work with, and we'll live in it for a month, and then we'll make decisions about how we should finish it off when we get home. But uh, another project in the books. We'll we'll get the afters together for you. We'll give you the cool shots after we've cleaned it up and loaded up. I'm gonna go clean myself up, get ready for bed. I still have it, I have it packed. Woo! I can't believe we pulled that off. I didn't think we were gonna do it. Well, hey everybody, it's future Casey here, sitting in the RV uh, halfway through our trip to Savannah and back and all up and down the Florida coast. Uh, we have been having a great time and this space in the back of the RV has been completely game changer level uh, improvement to how we do RV travel. Um, you know, we have our shade tent that used to be kind of my office whenever the weather was nice enough and we still brought it and like, it's been great, but we barely use it, not in the way that we've used it now. And it's rained almost every day on this trip. It's just coastal weather. Uh, so I don't know what we would have done. I've had to do so much work and I've been able to set up back here in the back. Um, that's great. Paige has been loving it. We're both just really stoked about it. Even for all of the weird quirks and, you know, the unpainted wall from the closet behind me that we never painted the inside of the closet uh, in the original renovation, um, those little things are, yeah, things we need to fix, but man, it really turned out great. We couldn't be more happy with it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you should catch up with our travels. If you haven't subscribed already, do that now, because uh, we've got a whole series coming out about our trip to the southeast. We've been through Atlanta, Savannah, Tybee Island, Jekyll Island, um, the Gulf Coast, and we're on our way to spend a week in New Orleans. So uh, definitely get subscribed to check it out. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.